Hey there, my name is Morgan Gold and I live in Peachum, Vermont. And this video is a portion of my application for a Vermont Barn Preservation Grant. All right, wait, maybe uh, just a little bit of uh, background is due for you guys who are watching this video who are not part of the selection committee for awarding barn preservation grants in the state of Vermont. In our great state of Vermont, we have a matching grant program uh, awarded by the state that offers funds for people who are looking to preserve historic barn uh, structures. There's a strong belief by, by the people who live here that preserving some of the history and the elements that, that make it up um, really has value. So I'm very appreciative to live in a state like this. But really this video is intended for the selection committee of these uh, very specific barn grants. So here at our farm, Goldshaw Farm, we have this massive old three-story barn. Um, it was probably built somewhere in the range of, I don't know, maybe like 1890 or prior to 1900. We actually have a historic photo of the building from 1900 and you can actually see it in all of its original glory. The barn is gigantic. It's three stories. It has horse stalls and an area that used to contain manure on the first floor. Uh, there's the milking parlor, which is actually the room I'm in right now, up on the second floor. On the third floor is a, a hay storage, and there is a high drive that goes out to the pasture. So, you know, in the olden days, they would back the wagon up, bring the hay in on the third floor, drop it down here to the second floor to feed the cows. And then as the cows would drop their manure, they'd put it right uh, in this trench here that has a trap door, and it would drop down below to the first floor. When you think about dairy in the late 1800s, early 1900s, it's a pretty ingenious design. Now, personally, I absolutely love this barn. I think it is incredible. I mean, it's so cool walking around here. It's like a friggin' time machine. Check out this cooler room. So, I was actually using it this year as a brooder for my baby ducklings when they arrived to the farm. So, an interesting fact, the people who owned this farm in like the 2000s, they actually ran a, a vegetable CSA here, and they used this image specifically as the logo of their farm. So you wanna see historic structures, check out this two-seater deluxe outhouse. It's quite impressive, isn't it? This entire back corner of the barn is actually sitting on this rock. It's got so much history, it's got so much character, it's an important structure to the people here in Peachum. My wife and I bought our farm in 2016, and so far we've invested most of our time and energy in preserving the historic character of the house. The house itself is a pretty unique structure. It was built in 1835, had a major renovation um, around 1900, and then also in 1920. Um, it was actually at one point used as a boarding house. It had a Nobel Prize winner stay here, as well as many, many other uh, interesting and fascinating people. But the barn itself is absolutely the crown jewel of the history. But unfortunately, it's starting to fall apart. This part of the structure of the barn used to come out, um, but we had to actually cut it down because it was starting to sag and collapse and we were afraid it was gonna take the whole side of the barn with it. It's quite the eyesore. So one of the most immediate and urgent things that is going on with the barn is that it actually needs a new roof. My life goal is to establish a sustainable and profitable farm here at Goldshaw Farm. See, this is our duck house. It's just an old converted hay shed that I put an extra wall on. We've already begun to establish a number of agricultural uh, activities. So for example, we have a flock of egg laying ducks um, that we brought on board earlier this year. And last year we planted a 600 tree orchard that's a mixture of chestnuts, hazelnuts, elderberries, mulberries, apples, um, black locust trees wide variety of tree crops. The idea being that over the course of several years, we're gonna establish a good foundation for long-term profitability in our farm. If I look at the business case right now, the argument I see is very much in favor of knocking this thing down and just putting up some cheap aluminum structures. But I don't wanna do that. That's not what I'm looking for. What I want is our farm to bridge the history 
of what it was, as well as become something that's sustainable for the future. So the grant that I'm applying for specifically this year would be for the funding to help replace our roof. Most of the roof sections themselves are rusting and corroded. Um, they do not prevent water from getting into the building. I want to hit the roof first because that would allow us to preserve the rest of the building in time, but preventing water damage is arguably the most urgent thing on the table. I would also begin actually next year myself clearing all this out. A big part of why I haven't done work to date has been I haven't been sure of what the plan was. Um, just even as recently as a couple months ago, I was seriously considering just knocking this whole thing down and putting up just some cheap agricultural buildings that could be useful for our farm. But I don't want that to be the case. I'm making this application for the barn grant because I want to be the guy to put the work in and make the investment and really preserve this building for future generations. But the problem is I need help. 